Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutler Outdoors, an unboxing rendition, if you will. Before we get into it, you know what we got to do. There was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now, stats show that number's going down. However, anything above zero is unacceptable. We're back to blue over here. We support Leo. Hey, do that scab, even though people worry out about it. Well, we don't break the damn law. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So, here's the deal. Got a couple things I'm going to talk to y'all about. It's going to be kind of a shout-out video. Me killing Megan because she decides to wash dishes while I'm shooting this video type of deal. But I love her. You know what I'm saying. Hey, honey. How are you? Of course, probably shouldn't have done this in the kitchen. A couple things I want to throw your way. No, I'm saying I shouldn't have. Okay. We're going to keep moving. Go ahead, honey. There, there's some pots up there if you'd like to bang them together. Pots and pans. There we go. Man, they can't stop that, girl. So here's the deal. The deal. I want to cover a couple things. First thing I want to show y'all is this. This is the Total Knife Manual. Now, this is a book that Carl Ruger gave me. Guys, let me, let me say this. This might be one of the best condensed resources of material on a knife that I've ever seen. It, it's And it's got pictures, which y'all know. I love me some pictures. But it becomes, it gives you different knife styles. It gives you different things. It shows you how to skin a fish, a deer. This is a great beginner's book, and I need it. It covers all the points, the drop points, the clip points, all of that. Now, I know my subscribers, that I got out. Here's going to be a comment. I don't need that book. I know it all. Yeah, I know you do, jackass. That's why you watch video. Anyway, this is a great book to pick up. Carl, thank you, my brother. I probably will do something in depth on it next week, maybe just to sit down with Scab type deal. What I want to do is an unboxing. I want to show y'all what we got coming up on the channel. Now, I just released this Larry Roberts Generation 6, kind of a Kephart style video. Great little bushcrafter. Uh, that's coming out. That should be already released by the time this video shows up. The Big J, another LT Wright. I'm really digging this one. Now, here's the deal, guys. On a lot of these, I don't have the stats. That... That Larry Roberts is, an, I believe, uh, A2 tool still or A1. Some, I got it wrote down to say it in the video and say it correct. Those two videos are coming. Those are from JR. JR is just an amazing dude, man. And he don't send me knives to test for me to say he's an amazing, but he is an awesome guy. And he has really afforded me some opportunities to demonstrate some knives I wouldn't have. Before we delve into the two boxes that JR sent, Eric Outer sent me a package. It's the best tech. Now, Megatron loves the Kendo. We have two different ones. Well, they were both mine, and now they're Megatrons. Ladies, if you really, truly, if you want to know what Meg uses, gardening, day-to-day -day household stuff, the best tech Kendo. This, these knives she loves. Both of them, just different styles. I believe that's G10 May. I don't know. But it's D2 steel. Both are deep carry pocket clips. Both Tonto style. And I show you these for a reason. The girl gets a lot of use. It's a, uh, I, I, I don't know if that's a liner. Yeah, it's probably a liner lock. I'll tell you why I say that here in a minute. But she loves the best tech kendo. My guy, Eric Alder, <clears throat> who I had on last week on one of my talks for Work Tough Wednesdays, he designed the Stinger. He designed the Work Tough Chanto. A lot of people don't know this. I didn't know this. Eric is the rep for Best Tech Knives. He's their U.S. rep. He handles a lot of stuff for him. So he sent me a Kendo that's higher end. It's got titanium scales. It's, I believe it's S35VN. We'll do a full review on this. Deep carry pocket clip. This is a gorgeous knife, man. This is a true frame lock. I'll show you there. Good action on it. Lockup's pretty good. I, I honestly, I like frame locks. Nice Tonto style. It is S35VN. Very, very comfortable knife. Flipper, bam. So this one will be coming. Eric, my brother, thank you. I can't wait to do a full review on this. And we'll be good to go. So there's that. Hopefully Megan will be done with the dishes here in a minute. 
I'm hoping. She's done. She wants y'all to know. She's done. So if y'all couldn't hear anything I said. She's stealing that knife. Thank you. And she's probably stealing that knife. So high-end best tech kendo. Eric Outer, thank you. There will be a high-end review on that. Thank you. The Mount Laguna, work tough gear. Y'all seen John, Wingman 115 on my channel last night. John's inspired me, man. I'm going to put out a video on this Sunday, and I'm going to do a special shout-out for John in that video. We need to get that dude to 50,000 subs. He's been on YouTube for a while, works his ass off. So, hey, baby. So, we're going to do a review on this, this Laguna. I've already got one. But talking to John, he gave me some different ideas for using this, some different grips, what he intended it for. I'm going to go over some of that with you. We're going to do our typical hard use. And if this is your first, listen, if this is your first video with Choir Boys Cutlery, the bread and butter of this channel is hard use knife demonstrations and me riding around hollering at people, those two things. Rarely, if I ever do, I do an unboxing. This is going to be a longer video. I'm sorry. Watch it in parts. Do what you got to do. But I'm super excited for everything we got. We got the nymph from Work Tough Gear. Now, yesterday was Work Tough Gear Wednesday. Very, very good day. Great day. This was designed by Jeremy Boulder Valentine. I showed you all this. I, I, I gave more credence to Julio Diaz's style and Jeremy's Wilson. But I wanted to show you this nymph. Great little knife. Great little neck knife. I love it. Pocket folder probably carry it this weekend. Now, I wanted to talk to you too about this Geotech number 37 Carl gave me. A shout out to Carl Ruger. Two other shout outs real quick before we get too far in. Addicted to Blades 2. Addicted to Blades 2. John is at 987. Megatron's got a giveaway coming tomorrow if he gets over 1,000. You want to get in on that. She's giving away one of her knives. This is the Geotech 37. Already done a review. It's by Geotech Spanish Company. But I wanted to take a second. I wanted to show you all that handle. The ergos on this handle. I don't cover that a lot. I'll say the handle's comfortable, blah, 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 in the video. No hot spots that holds together. But I don't really talk much about the ergonomics of the handle. Look at that. Now, I have large hands, uh, extra large mall, but large hands. This is, a, I believe this handle would fit D-Bad. And Donnie has huge hands. Shout out to Donnie. He's going to 10,000. We'll talk about Donnie in a minute, but he's going to 10,000. This, Charles Jones, the redneck, I believe this would fit those guys' hands, those big hands, Matt Pearson. But the comfort of this, and again, Carl, Ruger, shout out to Carl. Love Carl. Guys, throughout this video... I'm going to be shouting people out. Go back, watch it. I'll have a bunch of links in the description. A lot of great channels. But I just wanted to point out again, not only is it a beautiful, not only is it micarta with those really nice red G10 liners right there in that thick blade stop, clip point, beautiful. This knife performed. It's got a 19 degree edge bevel. The Rouge man put it on. Carl sharpened it up for me. So, Best Tech Kendo, high-end properties coming. Mount Laguna, another shout out reviews coming. Addicted to Blades 2, let's get him to a thousand. Meg's giving away a knife, that's coming. The Nymph, it's on the way, okay? Now real quick, while we're into pocket knives, I'm, I've got an O knife and two Bokers from Kirk. That's coming along with a Half Breed Blades. That's coming this weekend. Guys, I got a lot of knives. I'm blessed, blessed to have them. I'm blessed to have people in my life that I can review knives now and send them back. When I started this channel, honest to God, it was just to show knives, show my collection. These guys, JR, Kirk, all of you, Timbo437, all of you, Eric Alder, Bobby Shu, all of you guys, Carnivora. I got 12 blades coming from Carnivora. I'm not, this ain't bragging, man. I'm blessed. This is a knife Jimbo wants me to beat up and test out. It's a QSP, okay? I don't. I've got a little experience with them, not a lot. Budget knife. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna put this thing through the ringer. See what we think. This one's coming. So I'm looking forward, guys. We're gonna. I'm. I, I having Greg Medford on the other night inspired me. No matter what you what you think of Greg, okay? And and I'm not saying that in a negative way. His passion for knives bled through. 
the video, and it's really caught fire. We're about to go on a run. Like I said, the bread and butter of this channel is knife demonstrations reviews. That's what we do. And somebody said, Gabby, you told me that. If this is your first video, I just released the LT Right Gen 6 where we cut, we chop, we do all that. Check it out. Now, let's dive into JR's knives, the ones he sent. Okay, he sent two boxes. We're going to go through each one. What I wanted to talk to you about, Donnie, about was this. I love that dude. He, he seriously is like a brother to me. Donnie B. All Day is like my brother. He really is. Why do I mention that? Because I thought about this today. When I do when I do a review, guys, or a demonstration, I do all my testing, then I narrate. I do that to keep from rambling on like I'm doing here. I can guarantee you this is... This is I don't know what this adventure Sweden. I've got all the specs, but just check. I'm just going to show you knives. Scandy grind. We're going to get on a row, roll with our knife reviews and demonstrations. I'm about to start hitting hitting it every day. We're going to get serious about this thing. We're going to turn it up. This is beautiful. We're going to turn it up. But the reason I mentioned D-Bad is simply this, man. I patterned the energy and enthusiasm from Donnie. Donnie's one of the first knife reviewers, actual knife reviewers that I watched, right? That I was like, I can do this. I loved his energy. I loved his passion. I loved his excitement. So those things I took from Donnie and added into my own. All right, this is a sheath. This is a uh, battle horse. So I might be wrong. This might be a battle horse. I'm not saying these match up, but we're going to act like they do. And I'm going to slide it in here. When I do the reviews of these guys, and beautiful leather sheet, this probably ain't the right knife. When I do the reviews, guys, I'll have the specs and all that. I just want to show y'all what's coming up. We're going to keep moving because there's a bunch of knives to do. But that's kind of the psychology of, of the channel. I want to do high energy, but I want to hit it. I've got goals with this channel. And I say this a lot, and I don't mean it to be a dick, but it is what it is. Whatever you do YouTube for, if you're a content creator, I support you. I've said that many, many, many times. If it's just to show your collection. I've, I've literally know people that, that don't care anything about getting any bigger, and I support that. I want to grow. The only way to grow, in my opinion, is to get after it, learn the algorithm, get after it. This is badass right here. Nesmic style. It's a small one, but I like that wide blade. Now, I'm, I'm going to quit guessing. Let me just say this. when it This is a handmade knife. Okay, due south, handmade. Let me just tell you this. These are all blades sent by JR. Now, what I do is I do the demonstration, I clean them up, and I send them back to JR. Why do I like that? When I started this channel, guys, I was buying a buttload of knives. I mean a buttload. But remember, I worked two jobs. And I had a job I should be retiring from, but I screwed it up. And I gave up the church, which was a big hunk. Now, I'm not, that's not lying. That's not complaining. I'm just saying my knife budget went downhill. So thank God for JR. Thank God for Work Tough Gear. Thank God for Carnivora, because my channel is set up, guys, for content. I, I'm not going to apologize for that anymore. I'm going to put out videos when I, as many as I can. I love it. Somebody said, we're scared, you get burned out, you run out of knife. No, nope, on neither. Won't happen. But we're gonna about, we about to run. And y'all give me your input on that. Because putting them out every day don't do me a lick of good unless y'all watch. And I'm so appreciative for you watching. I'm so appreciative for the comments. Even the comments I get aggravated with. They help the algorithm. And I'm not talking about trolls. I'm talking about just normal stuff that I need to get us. When I started this channel, guys, I told y'all I was going to give you me. This was me. This ain't an act. So I ain't going to lie to you. There's sometimes I get aggravated. But it's life. You ain't said nothing wrong. You ain't done nothing wrong. I'm just a moody bastard at times. Now right here, oh, wow. Alpha knife. Dude, I'm a huge. Mr. Damon, Miss Jill, I am a massive alpha knife fan. And let me just say this. It, it, old Town Cutlery. Sells Alpha Knives. I, I hope I said that right. Here we go. Old Town, O-L-D-E-T, 
town, T-O-W-N-E Cutlery. I believe they're out of Georgia. Look at that. And let me, let me tell you this. Look, look at this sheath. I got an extra light just to try to show you all a little better. Let me, let me explain something to you about Alpha and I. They're just not for looks. Ooh, we have 15 minutes. We got a long way to go, boys and girls. I'm sorry. This is going to be a long one. Listen, these knives work. Point blank, period. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. They're great materials. They, they're some of the best testing, best demonstrated knives I do. And let me explain this to you, okay? This ain't the damn QVC channel. I've said that a million times. I'll say it a million more. I'll say it till I'm dead. But if I get excited, when I get a knife or I see a knife that, that's well made, that functions well, and that's why we do the demonstrations, right? Not just me going, well, it works really good. I cut some stuff the other day. I wish you could have seen it. You see me do it, right? Alpha knife. Keep an eye on these guys, man. Now, y'all are going to have to start listening faster because we got to get through this thing. But you know what? We're, if it's 25, 30 minutes, then it is what it is. You can watch it in two parts. I mean, hell, most people get a 30-minute lunch. And who wouldn't want to listen to these melodious tones for 30 minutes? JR's coming in strong with these nest mucks. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Look at that. Good-looking little knife. Now, this is a battle horse. A little battle horse nest muck. Look at that. So them battle horse, LT right, 90 degrees spine. LT right, battle horse, alpha knife. One, if you don't believe nothing else in your life, you can believe this. JR don't buy crap. You can believe that. Trust me when I tell you that. Alpha Knife, that's somebody to keep an eye on, guys. I'm telling y'all, beautiful battle horse knives, a little nest. And see, this is what we wanted to do in year three. This is what I would do choppers all day long, run out there, bust two by fours, four by fours, all of that. I'd do it all day long. But that skill set, I, I can chop. I got a skill set for chopping. This is what I got to work on. It doesn't, as much as I would love to chop every day, guys, it don't do me no good without practice. So, I said all that to say, thank you, JR. These are awesome. We ain't done, son. You're going, my God, Scab, I've got to get, I've got to go to bed. I'll, we'll move on. Here we go. Look at this right here. That's another alpha. Bet you. Yep. That's a basic black leather sheath, and my camera doesn't do it justice. That's what I'm trying to do, guys. I'm going to go hard. I'm going to go fast. I'm going to try to get as big as I can get, bring in what I can bring in so I can get some better equipment and give you all better looks. But you got to earn it. I want to earn it. I don't want shit given to me. Look at that. That's a gorgeous sheath. Now, again, guys, look. Guys from Alpha don't miss, man. Damon don't miss. I'm just telling you he don't. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Super fired up. And the thing with him is, and with his sheaths, like, look at that. That's going to that's gonna resonate with a lot of you guys. A lot of my bushcrafting guys right there. Gorgeous. All right. We're about through the first box. Moving on. Now, the other thing is, guys, that made me some notes. Tom Ritter. He was a good dude. Tom, I love Tom. Tom's an old school friend with Blackie Thomas. He's been on YouTube a long time. Another good guy for a wealth of knowledge. Here's another alpha knife. Kydex sheath. Let's give you a good look. And again, we'll go over specs since to look at that. Ooh. Look at that. And again, alpha knives aren't just another pretty face. Got that nice polished. Try to give you all a good look. Look at that. Ooh, son. I'm excited about that. Okay, there's box one done. I know everybody's going, thank God, Scab. Well, you know, you can always click it off and watch it again later. Now, we just got a few in here. I'm going to show you these, and then we'll call it an evening. And I'm hoping I can match up the damn sheets. All right. Bark River. Look at that. I don't even have to say anything. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And you know it's highly functional. Taupe 
love, I don't know what it says. I'll look it up when I get the specs, but good Lord, man. Look at that. I'll have to tag my bad adventures. He's a big Bark River guy. He'll love that, man. That is gorgeous. JR, that's, that. see, sometimes guys with these, look at that. Sometimes guys with these, I, I, I get nervous even testing them. I ain't going to lie to you. I mean, I'm going to. I'm going to test them. But I get nervous with it. There ain't no doubt. But Bark River's going to hold up. Alpha Knife's going to hold up. We're going to do these little nest mix. I got my guy, Kurt. My guy, Kurt, you're seeing him in some chatting and, you, and things like that. We're going to move his skill sets outside. But I want him to get used to doing videos, getting the, the volume up, get takes a minute. Believe me, when we start this fall, you're going to be blown away by Kirk's skill set. All right, perfect. So what we have here are all sheaths. You'll see these as the knives come out. Let me make sure that I got everything before I show you this last one. Oh, he snuck one in on me. This is one that JR was talking about. And again, man, JR. Massive shout out, massive love to you, man. We're about done, boys and girls. I know you are ecstatic. <laughs> Megan, yeah. come here real quick. Look at that. Okay. Holy crap. What? Not you. I'm talking, I'm still doing this video. Look at that. That little Nesmic style. That's insane. That's going to be a lot. That's going to be, this might be one of the more challenging challenging ones I've done. But I've got some ideas for that. Look at that little Nesmic style. That one's from JR. It's small is what I'm saying. She's impressed. That girl's impressed. Thank you, honey. Look at that. Now, thank you. <laughs> Go finish your nails. Love you. Love you. Mean it. All right, another Bark Rither CPM 3V. Look, I'm going to have to hit up my bad. Shout out to My Bad Adventures, man. Really good dude. Big Bark River fan. Has a great channel. Look at that handle, man. That's badass. JR, these are freaking amazing. Last one, guys, and we're going to wrap it up for the night. Here's my light. This is a Lion Steel. This is one I've been curious about a long time. I'm super fired up about this one. I mean, super fired up. I love Lion Steel, and y'all all know why. Billy Wademo, made by Lion Steel. Bill Harsey, design. Robert Young Pelton, design. Big fan, big fan of Lion Steel. And this is why I'm a big fan of Lion Steel, right here. First of all, they're sheath. Handmade in Italy, so it's Italian leather, right? Give you several looks, belt carry. Scout carry, badassery carry, right here. Freaking love that, man. And then here we go. Nylock Steel, Maletta Design. I'm sure I butchered his name. Look at that, man. That is just absolutely. JR, thank you, my brother. This, this, this is badass, man. Well, guys, listen, I know we've gone long. I hope you've stuck to the end. If you've stuck to the end, say, Stab, we made it, son. Just put that in the comments. I'll know the one. Of course, some of y'all skipped through to the end. I know how you are. Listen, real quick, I love you. God knows I do. God bless you. I hope he does. Joe Steel Forged and Fire Sword and Knife. Go subscribe to him. Blade Talk with Scab and Joe. Go subscribe to him. New, new guy on the block. Guns and Blades. Check him out. Straight Edge Blades. Straight Edge, Jason Fleming, great guy. Check him out. I've always got to shout out Greg Z over at Legion Tactical. Awesome dude. Well, listen, guys, that's going to be it. Tomorrow night, August 12th, or tonight, August 12th, Turtle Wolf Pack. Turtle Wolf Pack will be on live with me, Choir Boys Cutler Outdoors. He's got a knife he wants to show you. I'm pretty excited about it. Now, normally, guys, I don't just let people come on. Y'all know that. But. This is a knife made through Shade Indonesia. I'm a huge Shaney fan. Can't wait to see it. Well, listen, Mikey says it best. Everything's going to be all right. I'm scabbed. You're not. I'm gone, son. <laughs>